Zombies is coming to Modern Warfare 2, and I cannot believe this because everybody on Twitter was saying, you know what, COD 2023 is not going to get zombies, COD 2024 is going to be the one that gets zombies, and I cannot believe that we are in this scenario now where we have seen some leaked gameplay files where they are placeholder images, obviously I can't show it on the video, but they have placeholder images of both round-based zombies and Outbreak, and I told y'all, I said, listen bro, they are not going to get rid of Outbreak after the success of Black Ops Cold War and what they did with it because they were essentially trying to remodel it with Vanguard, but it ended up being an absolute disaster and it is both backs. We are going to be seeing both round-based zombies and Outbreak. In my opinion, the game files have already leaked it. A lot of people are saying, well, okay, this could be placeholder files from the last game where now in this game, there's not going to be a lot in it. But honestly, I'm telling you, there's no way they would randomly just have placeholder holder files from round based zombies and outbreak when the last game was vanguard bro that game didn't have outbreak it just had its own very strange version of outbreak with duran fong terra maledicta and then round based zombies with sheen luma and obviously archon but the thing is that i don't understand is why is treyarch and activision not hyping this up because we know that treyarch has created a lot of modern warfare 2's assets like with the campaign we've seen them on the credits on the campaign so it's not far off off to, to think that they are going to be making Call of Duty Zombies now with this next title. And so it's kind of weird now because it's now got me a little bit worried because a lot of people were really expecting COD 2024 to be this massive big Zombies title with it basically being like Black Ops Gulf War set in the 90s, the sequel after the Cold War with Peck taking place, whatever is going to be happening with that storyline. Now I'm a little bit worried because I believe that this next Zombies mode is going to, if anything, be quite similar to Vanguard, not in a bad Bad way, but in a way that basically is completely separate to what we've seen with the Black Ops Cold War storyline. It's going to be separate from everything that we've seen with Treyarch, and it makes me wonder why they've decided to do this and when this will release. And now let's talk about this. Why? Obviously, I think it's because there's been a massive hunger for zombies recently because a lot of people didn't really play Vanguard, and for most people, that was an entire year break for zombies, and I totally understand that, so a lot of people want to get into it. And I trust in Infinity Ward a lot more than I do with Sledgehammer games. I'm gonna be honest, Infinity Ward makes quality zombies maps. They made Spaceland, they made so many great maps in IW, great gameplay systems, so I have a feeling that this zombies mode is going to be a lot better than Vanguard. Is it going to stand up as a Treyarch title? We really don't know. Is the story going to tie in with the campaign? Definitely not, considering that the campaign is very much tied in with the Modern Warfare storyline, so it's not gonna be anything like that. I I guarantee you what we're going to be seeing is something where it's probably similar to almost Outbreak from Cold War where we see a lot of reused assets from the multiplayer maps, from bigger maps, and put onto zombies. And is that going to be fun? I think it's going to be some content at least for a year until we get the major title that Treyarch will be creating. However, I am nervous now because listen, this reminds me of the exact scenario that happened with Black Ops 4 and Jason Blundell essentially creating Zombies Chronicles. And I asked Jason Blundell, I said, listen, is this going to detract time away from Black Ops 4? And that man said no. And guess what happened to Black Ops 4? Black Ops 4 was just not fully polished on launch and I feel like unfortunately we might be running into this same scenario now with Modern Warfare 2 going to be having zombies and also with this next COD 2024 title. Now the real question is when is this going to come out and I have to be honest here this is not happening for release. There's no way that this is happening for 2022. My guess would be at the qu quarter four of uh, 2023 or at the very end of 2023. I even think potentially even in 2024 like there is a strong chance that this will not be happening until the very very end of 2023 so we're still going to be in a drought for call of duty zombies at least for another year but the fact that this has gone hidden away inside the game files both round based zombies and outbreak 
honestly confirms to me that these molds are probably also going to be con uh, confirmed and uh, included into Call of Duty 2024. And I think that's a good thing. Like I said, I thought Outbreak was a fun experience in Black Ops Cold War, but it just needed to be fleshed out. And now with Treyarch having more practice, more repetition on what they're going to be doing, I think they can create this into a great mode. However, on the negative side, I also do believe that the zombies burn out for people that are extreme fans of zombies is going to be absolutely real. Especially the people that have grinded Atomic Camel on Vanguard. You guys are going to be getting so much Zombies content soon and that I think is where I'm a little bit nervous because it's going to be nice having this one extra year but I'm telling you that hunger is going to come back and people are going to get inside with the game. Now it's going to be interesting because I think the content plan that we're going to be having here is we're going to be having COD 2023 Modern Warfare 2 Zombies I guess for the year 2 of zombies and then after that we also will be having deviation games is content which however that's going to be it's going to be similar to call of duty zombies in some aspect and then after that we will have cod 2024 so there is going to be a massive amount of content as soon as modern warfare 2 zombies happens for year two probably of this game coming out and i'm going to be very interested in terms of how they market this and what they're going to do with this is it going to be similar to what we've seen with other other games where they just release it as a separate thing attacked onto all the multiplayer DLC and also supposedly the campaign DLC. I know a lot of leakers were also saying that COD 2023 was supposed to be a project, a standalone project that is separate to everything and now in the context of what we're seeing here with every Call of Duty game having a two-year life cycle, it makes sense and I do believe that this Modern Warfare 2 zombie series will be something featured alongside multiplayer maps. Will it have a storyline? Will it be quality? I really wouldn't even want to put those expectations up at this point. I genuinely just believe that this could also genuinely be like Onslaught from Black Ops Cold War, where it's a lot of multiplayer maps shoved in with zombies maps. But it is nice to know that there is a way to now see these zombie modes and play it on Modern Warfare 2. And it will be so great to play this also with the creamy, smooth, brilliant Modern Warfare 2 gun mechanics that I'm so excited to try out and see in zombies and even if it is just an onslaught mode or an outbreak mode with the larger mp maps i think it will have a fun grind and they'll probably at least add a camel grind to add just like vanguard did and i think genuinely at that point it's going to be very fun to play and at least give us enough content up until deviation games drops in 2024 and also up until treyarch's drop in 2024 as well with call of duty zombies and i just hope and pray that Treyarch is going to be able to do well enough on this. They've also made a studio now in Vancouver, very close to where I live, so they've definitely broadened the amount of people that they're hiring, but I also note that they're still looking for positions. So let's just hope and pray that for the future of Call of Duty Zombies, there will be enough development time, and there will be enough people working on the mode to be able to provide a quality product for all of us. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in that next one.